Today's anniversary is a somber one for a Casco family who still struggles with the loss of their loved one killed in Iraq almost five years ago. NBC 26's Heather Burke is live at 6 with their story. Dean Opichka's mother says her heart breaks to see his plate empty at their table on holidays. She tells us today's anniversary reminds her why we should have never gone to war a decade ago. God needed an angel, a special one, and he took Dean. This cap he wore in Iraq. Donna Opichka reflects on the pain she faces daily in her living room. When you have someone in service, it isn't just that person in service who sacrifices, but when when they don't come back, it's the whole family that really suffers because his presence is no longer here. Her son, 29-year-old Dean Opichka, was killed by an IED in Iraq. In my opinion, I didn't feel we should be there in the first place, but I did support the troops and will continue to do so. Ten years after we went to war in Iraq, more than 4,400 Americans were killed in an effort to bring down Saddam Hussein. And some say the fight was worth it. If you'd left Saddam in charge of Iraq, you'd have had carnage on an even worse scale in Syria and with no end in sight. Over 30,000 wounded troops have come home over the past decade, while Opichka is left with memories. I don't want anyone else to have to go through what our family has gone through. Because, like I say, it's taken its toll on the whole family. In a new Gallup poll released today, about 53% of people called the Iraq War a mistake. Heather Burke, NBC 26.